Hey, lady! Uh, SpongeBob, is that you? I don't know. What happened to you? And where did all these snails come from? Don't worry. I'm taking very good care of all my snails. I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about me. I'm allergic to snails. Even Gary? <laughs> One snail I can handle. Maybe even two or three. But this? Geesh, no way! Just how many snails do you have? I don't know. Let's count them, shall we? One, two, three, Mary, Donnie, Carmela, Senior, Poopus, Jack, 24, Paul, Brenda, Sherelle, Steve, One, The Keys, Barfin on the Floor, 48, Orbil, X, Vince, Mavis, Mavis, Junior, Electric, Ronnie, Diane, Pam, 97, Walter, Sarah, Boogaloo, Shrimp, 141, Private, Tom, Ted, Thea, Ava, that's 164, Old Ironsides, Wanda, Coffee, Nephews, Walking, 233, Sean, Andy, Mr. Buster, Mrs. Buster, still, I'll say 258. Enough! You have to get rid of those snails and get back to work. Work? But I found my life's work. Taking care of wayward snails. It. I'm calling the Bikini Bottom officials so they can deal with it! He said like 258. Well, do something about it. That's why I pay taxes. Oh, my allergies are killing me. Uh, hello? Hey, man, I'm super hungry. Where's my food, dude? Oh, chill your gills. I'll get your food, dude. Not so super hungry all of a sudden, and also I'm super not paying. Squidward, have you lost your irrelevant mind? You cannot be sneezing all over me Krabby Patties. The customers don't like it, except for that guy. <laughs> That's it, I'm done. Well, 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 you can't abandon ship. I'd have to work all by myself. Don't worry, it's not a problem. Any idiot can do it, right? Great. Well, if it's snail friends he wants, it's a snail friend he's a-gonna get. <laughs> Meow. Oh, another little stray friend. What is your name, little fellow? It's Patrick. Um, wow. I think I'll call you Patrick. <laughs> Boy, you need a bath. Well, no. No. Wow. Hello, please. Excuse me, ma'am, but we've had some complaints. Ah, uh, no, thank you, please. Oh, no, Patrick, no outsiders for you. No help. No help. He said no thank you, please. What does that even mean? I demand you do something about those snails now. Oh, this has got to stop! Oh, the bad men want to take you away from me, but I won't let them. SpongeBob is behind that fence and he has locked the gate. Oh, quit messing around and just break down that gate! Wait, maybe there's another way. Get me a bullhorn. I want to talk to her. Him. Oh, right. Him. SpongeBob, I need you to listen to me. Hello. SpongeBob, my name is Bob Barnacle. I run the Bob Barnacle Snail Rescue Center. These snails all loose through a hole in the fence of my snail center. I'm here to help the snails. I'm here to help you. Hello. I know that you mean well, but there's only so much one sponge can do. You must be very tired from all your hard work. My center has all the space and staff that a snail needs. They'll be well taken care of. I promise the snails will be happy. Bye, SpongeBob. Bye, Patrick. Oh, Patrick! Patrick! Don't worry! I'm going to adopt you! And what seems to be the problem today? 
My throat hurts! Describe him a numbing throat spray. Let's move on, shall we? Wait a second. I think I've seen this before. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll need one medical sea chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my keys! And my throat feels better! You see, doctors, catfish are bottom feeders. The dirt on his face led me to believe he had recently eaten something that irritated his throat. Happens to my friend Patrick all the time. <laughs> Try a Krabby Patty next time, sir. They go down smooth and they taste better than car keys. Thanks, Doc! No need to thank me, sir. I'm here to help. And what seems to be your problem today, ma'am? Sometimes I just don't have it in me to puff up under my own power. Hi, Mrs. Pop! No! Not you! <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't worry, Mrs. Puff. I'm a doctor today. What is this crazy thing? Looks like some sort of weird submarine. You're kidding, of course. We placed her in an iron lung to help puff her back up. Ah, dive, dive! A periscope! Load the torpedoes! Again. But you still don't get a driver's license. Oh! Wow. I've never seen anyone work an iron lung like that. So awesome. We were on our way to perform a surgery. But we would be honored to watch you perform it. Uh, me? Perform a surgery? Oh, yeah. This is the last. And best of all, there's no SpongeBob here to ruin it. Oh boy, surgery! And on my first day, too. SpongeBob, no! What are you doing here? Not enough, Mr. Tentacles. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> Doctor, the patient's over here, and he's ready for you to begin. Oh, we're most eager to see which tool you select first. Let me see. Here we go. Just make an incision here. No! no! Son of a gun! Not my bad! I'll take that. Aha! Mmm, sushi. He's <laughs> uh, really going to pieces over this nose job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Let's try again, shall we? Order up! No! <laughs> 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 oh, that shouldn't be in there! Hey, look, we 
got a hole in our crew and we need somebody to fill it. How would you like to join the Sharks? Do I get a jacket? Of course you do. Yay! I mean, hey, no friends! All right, let's bail on this joint. Cruise the neighborhood. <laughs> Okay? Oh, don't worry about them Bettys. It's a waste of time. Yeah, but, but, but what if they're hurt? I told you not to worry. But you keep on worrying. Oh, you jet sponge. Yeah, don't you trust us? Well, I guess so. Please, have whatever you want. Take it all. Take it all. That guy seemed really scared of us. That guy's loony. Hey, sponge pants, don't be such a maybe baby. Wah, who's a baby? <laughs> Stop right there. Y'all ain't allowed in here no more. Give us a break, old man. We practically own the place. Not after what you did last time. You wrecked the joint. This is a shark-free zone now. What a bunch of hooey. Yeah. What are we going to do, shark face? The sharks can't allow this. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, maybe we should let it slide. Uh, there are plenty of clubs in the sea. Slow down. This is our spot, Sponge. Huh? The pods. Uh, what? It's our rivals. The pods. Pods. Sharks. Pods. Sharks. Pods. Sharks. Pods. The cops. You. Hold it there, laddies. Break this nonsense up right now. Now you pods clear out of here. Hey, we'll see you at the showdown, sharks. Unless you're a bunch of jellies. <laughs> showdown? I can't fight the showdown. I'll have to go into the witness protection program. I'll have to quit working at the Krusty Krab. I'll never flip a succulent Krabby Patty ever again. Oh, what have I done? Hmm? What's this? Hey, yo, Spongeo. We were in your neck of the woods and decided to pick up your beloved pet Gary. If you want to see him, you better hightail your porous caboose over to the showdown. Sincerely, Sharkface and the other sharks. Gary! No! I have to say, Gary, I have to go to the showdown. I have to get ready to fight. SpongeBob, what are you doing here? Squidward! Oh no, I accidentally joined this bad boy gang and I'm supposed to fight in the show now because I gotta save Gary and I don't want to go into the witness protection program but I can't fight you because you're my friend. What are you talking about, jellyfish for brains? We are a troop. A troop? What do you mean? A dance troop, you numbskull. This is a dance showdown. No one is going to fight. But what about those girls that screamed and fainted? Oh, that? That's just our fans. They scream and faint all the time. What about the fruit vendor? He just gave you his fruit and ran away. The guy's a health nut. He's always worried that we don't need enough fruits. He keeps you regular. But what about the club? The bouncer said you destroyed the place. That was a total accident. That's how we lost it. Johnny. Johnny thought he could do a quadruple pirouette. He lost control. He fell down. He scratched up the floor pretty bad. He won't be able to dance for days. Maybe even a week. Johnny, no! Oh, brother. But you sharks kidnapped Gary. We would never do such a thing. Yeah, we were just giving him a ride. Gary is our DJ. Oh. 
<laughs> Let's go get that formula. <laughs> we are gonna pull a plankton. A plankton. Sorry. <laughs> Stepped on my tail. What are you wearing? I'm a cat burglar. <laughs> okay, I'll change. <laughs> And just how am I supposed to get in? Capture the rest of him, too.
love it. Hello? What do you think, Pearl? Cleans up pretty good, doesn't it? Well, at least no one will recognize you. Now listen, SpongeBob. I just want to get through this dance with my social status intact. I want to go to the prom, get my picture taken, and I want to dance. Okay. I want to drink punch with my friends. And don't do that other thing you're always doing. Uh, when Pearl, you... we got to get back to the limo. <gasps> A limo! Why didn't you say so? I love limousines. Go easy on them, Lassie. I can't afford to break in a new fry cook. over with. Come on, SpongeBob! Be right there! Will you hurry up? In just a second! Coming! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh, the the pop party! Oh, Here I am! Yay! Oh. That'll be a keeper. All right, you invertebrates! I'm gonna teach you how to do the sponge. Well, you take your leg and you stick it in the air. And then you take the other one and jam it right up there. You twist yourself around and give a great big lunge. Now you're doing the sponge. I do the sponge, sponge, or do the sponge. Bet your bunch are doing the sponge. Well, now that you take your leg and you stick it in the air. And well, then you take the other one. Sponge. Big lunch. Now you're doing, yeah, now you're doing the sponge. All right, now, yeah, I'm going to do the sponge, sponge, I'm going to do the sponge. Before you know you're taking the sponge, I say the sponge, sponge, I'm going to do the sponge. someone else's prom, will ya? Gee whiz, Pearl. I'm sorry that I didn't turn out like you planned. Oh, don't worry, SpongeBob. I knew it would be a total disaster all along. But as far as disasters go, that was really fun. Aha! Keep away from my precious little flower. <gasps> you almost stepped on it. Oh, Daddy. Well, good night, short, yellow, and spongy. SpongeBob? Good job, Lenny. How do you like my decorations? Those are too cute for Halloween, SpongeBob. Oh, Patrick, Halloween is cute. Sharing candy, holding hands, singing songs. It's a bright and cheery time of year. I thought it was about getting your pants scared off. Hey, where's your costume? <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, open them. I'm a lovely flower. Woo! Oh, that's not scary either, SpongeBob. Wait, I'll show you what scary is. Is so scary. Right, SpongeBob? 
SpongeBob? <laughs> SpongeBob, why are you hiding in there? You'll miss all the scary stuff. I don't want to see the scary stuff, Patrick, okay? I admit it. I love trick-or-treating, but I am too afraid to go out on Halloween. SpongeBob, don't you know the old saying? The only thing you have to fear is... Yourself! Oh! Stop staring at me like that! No! See? It's all in your head, SpongeBob. You just have to remember one simple trick, and that is scary equals funny. Scary equals funny. Hmm, never looked at it that way before. All right, I'll go out. SpongeBob? Here I am. Just looking for cavities. Nope, none here. Oh, let's go out and get scared. Woo! Sure you can handle this, SpongeBob? Oh, I'll be fine, Patrick, really. But can we hold hands just in case you get scared? Deal! Welcome to my lab, SpongeBob and Patrick. I am the evil doctor, Oh, hi, Sandy. I didn't recognize you. Stop. Yeah, great costume. Oh, thanks, guys. Now feast your fingers on my jars of horror. <laughs> Stick your hand in the jar and guess what's inside. If you dare. Ew. Oh. Ew, it feels like worm guts. <laughs> It's just noodles. <laughs> oh, I'm savvy to this game, Sandy. So these brains are probably a slimy head of lettuce or maybe some boiled broccoli. Wrong, oh. it! Oh. Patrick, get out of there! Don't stop, SpongeBob, that's a spot! Oh. Patrick, you really got me! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> realistic fake monster I ever saw. Oh. Who are you calling fake? I smell the fear of a scared SpongeBob! Stalk Bikini Bottom by night for delicious victims. <laughs> then drag their lifeless bodies back to the kitchen and grind them into grinders. <laughs> SpongeBob, you sure know how to throw a party. What would they do without me? Locked out. This song's got a great beat. No, uh, not good. Gee, I wonder why they don't hear me. Oh, look at those poor souls. They're so bored they've gone mad. Oh, no! The party's falling into chaos without my hosting talents to guide it. So, do you come here often? No. Hello, SquarePants residents. What? I am sorry. What? Patrick, it's me, SpongeBob. You want to talk to SpongeBob? Yeah. No, Patrick, I'm SpongeBob. I'm outside. Okay, hold on. SpongeBob, are you out here? Phone's for you. 
Uh, uh, no! Patrick, wait! Sorry, he's not out there. Hey, kid, if you're looking for SpongeBob, he's over by the punch bowl. Thanks. Here you go, SpongeBob. It's for you. Phone in punch bowl? That's not even on the schedule. Larry, my man, you are looking good enough to eat. Mmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Could use a little teeth whitener, though. I'm sure SpongeBob won't mind. Hey, check out his crazy comb. Oh, no. Sounds like someone's rummaging through my medicine cabinet. <laughs> I hope they don't touch my special comb. Well, I guess I've aired it out enough. Ah! Hey, this party's finally starting to pick up. I hope this doesn't interfere with Finger Puppet Theater at 920. If I don't get back inside soon and restore order, there might not be time for any of the scheduled events. Gee, SpongeBob really knows how to throw a great party. <laughs> oh, yes, everything is quite lovely. Ew! Although I don't care for his taste in paintings. I don't even know how that happened. Well, I guess I have no choice. I'm gonna have to tunnel back in. Okay, everybody, don't panic. The host has returned. I can take losing the topic cards and the phone and the punch bowl, but I was supposed to lead the bunny hop. This is a bunch of barnacles. I'm breaking in. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A burglar bunny. Do it, O'Malley. I don't know. It's probably how he gets his kicks. You criminals make me sick. I'm no criminal. I live here. I'm just throwing a party. I got locked out, I swear. Well, why didn't you say so? What a terrible misunderstanding. You have a nice party now, sir. Boy, for a second there, I thought I was going to be arrested for breaking into my own house. <laughs> what an ironic twist that would have been. Hey. Bye. Wait a second. If you're throwing a party, why weren't we invited? But I, uh, you, uh, I didn't know you did the plan your own uh, pop party, kid. Uh, d didn't mention the police. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, Motormouth. Tell it to the judge. Oh, no. These cuffs are broken. Huh. We can't bring him in in broken cuffs. I got an old pair in the car we can use. Uh, is it too late to offer you some punch? Sir, you have the right to remain silent. All night in the stony lonesome, in a bunny outfit. Oh, yeah, the door's locked. Good thing I keep a spare key under the mat. Oh, look at this place. This party was a complete disaster. That was the greatest party any of us have ever been to. It was? Oh, without a doubt, you are the best party thrower ever. I am? Yeah! Whatever you did, you should write it down and do it again next weekend. Thanks again, SpongeBob. See ya! Square pants, you've done it again. I guess I know how to throw a party after all. Gary, well, it looks like you had a good time. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good morning, SpongeBob. Wow, it's amazing how a simple change of clothes can make a guy look just like me. Yep, if I'm going to be an award winner, I've got to dress like one. That's creepy. But flattering. I'm ready. 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 Well, back to the old grind. Well, back to the old grind. I got my hat. Me too. Ah, drop my spatula. Uh, me too. Oh! Aha! You're copying me! 
Yes. Why are you doing that? So I can win an award like you. Well, it's annoying, so stop it. Stop. Say, you're good. Thanks. Ah! Ah! Darn. Mary had a little, little lamb, lamb whose, whose fleece was, was white as... as pickle pickle fish, fish lips! Beep! Beep! Sea Weevil. Sea Weevil. Yorgy, Yorgy Smorgy! At least I'm safe inside my mind. At least I'm safe inside my mind. Stop copying me! There's no award for that! Well, I guess it's safe to go in now. Patrick, how long are you going to keep this up? Until I have as many awards as you. We'll see about that! No, we won't! I'm the jump rope champion of Bikini Bottom! Me too! Oh yeah! I call this one the Slice and Dice! Ha! Not a scratch on me! Oh no you don't! Not much fun being me now, huh, Patrick? Are you kidding? I used to do this way before I started copying you! My turn! I wish I had the old Patrick back, but he just wants to be like me! Hi, I'm Patrick Star. I'm the laziest, pinkest starfish in Bikini Bottom, and I wish I were me and not SpongeBob. What's so great about being a big pink loser? Exactly. I was never closer to an award than the minute I started copying you. But Patrick. Patrick's not here. Trophy <laughs> delivery. Another trophy. Oh, great! What's it for this time? For doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else. Patrick, this trophy's for you! <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna go protect my title! <laughs> There, there. You can come live with me. Here you go, Squidward. You sleep in my bed. Okay, but just till I get a job. One day, two days tops. Nonsense. You stay as long as you need to. for work. Don't rub it in. SpongeBob, where's my lemonade? Coming, Squidward. SpongeBob! SpongeBob! And why aren't you in uniform? It's about time you got here. Here you go, your majesty. I can't drink that. Why not? Are you blind? Just look at it. What about it? That lemon has three seeds in it. That's an odd number! I can't eat anything odd numbered! Fine, I'll just take it out! Oh, no! It's already contaminated by the bad lemon! It won't work! Hmm. That's two things in this house that won't work. Then go fix them. Two things that won't work! I've changed my mind. I want soup instead. Okay, don't move. Here you go. It's alphabet soup. I made it special. Can 
dense soup from a can? Disgusting! Now you've ruined my appetite. Go fetch me something to read. Oh, okay. How about this? <laughs> Get that away from me! You know I'm allergic to newsprint! <laughs> you know, when you swatted that newspaper out of my hands, it reminded me of something a friend of mine did. <laughs> At his job! Four o'clock, time for my stories. Hurry up, they won't hold the show while you laze around! <laughs> Hey, where are you going? To my job! You have a job? Why wouldn't I? I'm not some lazy, inconsiderate jerk who lays in bed all day. Say, where can I get one of these jobs? Oh, they're everywhere, especially if you're green and have six tentacles. Thanks. I'm going to go look for one so I can stop mooching off my friends and they can get back to their lives. This isn't my show. SpongeBob, the remote control's broken. Get over here and fix it. I got a better idea. Why don't I call someone whose job it is to fix it? You know why? Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job. What are you saying? Donate to the children's fund? Why? What have children ever done for me? You want your time back? Take it! Now Squidward can come back, right? Wrong! That ain't my first dime! Then have some more dimes! I've got plenty of them! You can't put a price on me first dime! And I can't forgive that thieving bilge rat Squidward for stealing it! <laughs> Listen, you cross-agents cheapskates! Squidward's been living in my house driving me crazy! And you're not gonna hire him back all because of a stupid dime! What's that? <gasps> me first dime! Oh, Timey, I'll never lose you again. This is a dime? I've been in business a long time, boy. So, if Squidward never stole the dime, he can come back to work, right? Aye, lad. Just let the dime and me have our privacy. <laughs> well, Mr. Squidward, it's good to have you back. Well, it's kind of good to be back, sir. It's all water under the bridge now. I agree, sir. After all, I'm sure you didn't mean to misplace me dime. What the... What are you saying? Well, it's obvious that you put the dime in me pants. Dimes just don't fly into people's pants. Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, there are three possibilities. One, you put the dime in me pants. Two, you put the dime in me pants. Or three, you put the dime in me pants. Wow, the mermelade. These costumes belong to the original International Justice League of Super Acquaintances. Once you put on these costumes, their fantastic powers will become yours. Wow, I didn't think superpowers worked that way. Sure, power's all in a costume. Why else would we run around in colored undies? I can think of three good reasons. The Quickster, with the uncanny ability to run really quick. Want to see me run to that mountain and back? You want to see me do it again? Captain Magma, get him angry and he's bound to erupt. Krakatawa! The elastic waistband, able to stretch his body into fantastic shapes and forms. I can finally touch my toes. And Miss Appear! Now you see her, now you don't. Does this outfit make me look fat? The International Justice League of Super Acquaintances, a subsidiary of Viacom. So it's agreed. We'll get one cheese pizza, one with pepperoni and mushrooms, and one with olives. Super Acquaintances, we need your help. Holy hell of a, it's the Chief. Thank you for the introduction, Quickster, but we all know who I am. More to the point, we've got news on the whereabouts of evil. The who's abouts of what? You just tell us where they are, Chief, and we'll hog time faster than you can say salsa verde. Our sources last saw evil harassing teenagers up at Makeout Reef. You know, Makeout Reef. <laughs> Flop and flounder, mermaid man. Make out reef. Those fiends attacking hormonally stressed out children. 
Ah, make out Reef. Good times, good times. To make out Reef! Away! Does this mean we're not getting pizza? John and Nancy sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. Oh, shine the flashlight in that car, Man Ray. <laughs> With pleasure. Hey, man, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Leave those young lovers alone. Well, if it isn't Milkmaid Man. You've saved us the trouble of tracking you down. You fiends can't win. You're outnumbered. You senile bag of fish face. There are three of us and only one of you. Make that two. The Quickster. Hooray. Captain Magma. Fool. The Elastic Waistband. Um, miss up here, and me makes ten, uh, I think. Uh-oh. I don't feel so good about this. Oh, there goes our toy deal. Super acquaintances attack! Oh, no, please, mercy! Krakatoa! I'll cool you off, Quickster, with one of my water balls. Uh, 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 Well, I guess it's up to me. I'll just sneak over, unseen, and catch him by surprise. Glad that's over. We won. This day belongs to evil. Okay, are you ready? Remember, like this. You sure you want to do this? Shave me down, make me round. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> What do you think? Perfect. Now that's scary. Let's go scare somebody. Ooh, I'm the Flying Dutchman. Ooh, I don't know who I am. Rah, rah, I'm the Flying Dutchman. Dutchman's best friend! <laughs> hey, don't you kids want your candy? <laughs> oh boy, that was something. Your costume really packs a punch. Do you think? Oh, no question. You scared the barnacles off that guy. Who should we scare next? There's a whole party just full of people down at the Krusty Krab. And the Flying Dutchman is gonna show up uninvited. <laughs> oh, here comes someone now. I guess he's been demoted to a haunted sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> Squidward? I mean, flying Dutch. 
refreshment. Great party, huh? What are you supposed to be? Why, I'm a pet goldfish in a bowl. I don't get it. Are you ready, SpongeBob? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, who are those guys? Uh, are they here to fix the TV? <laughs> what do you want? Are you Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? Well, we used to be, but now we're retired. <gasps> But you can't retire. There's evil afoot. What? Evil? Yeah! Mm. Boy, don't forget the evil. All I said was there's evil afoot. Evil! Will you please stop saying that? Evil! 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 Wow, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. It's too bad they're old. What do you mean, Patrick? Old people are the greatest. They're full of wisdom and experience. The world needs Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Someone, somewhere is in trouble. And I won't rest until Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are out of retirement. Ooh, pretty light. <laughs> extra broccoli uh, to my young ward. The boy needs his vitamins. Here you go, son. <laughs> to the table! Away! Careful! Don't run! Hey, Mermaid Man! Uh, here comes the TV repair man. What do you want from us? Hold on. Just let me look at you. Stay alert, Barnacle Boy. He, he's up to something. Will you cut? Will you stop calling me, boy? Do you remember the time the food supply in Atlantis was running low? So you invented a ray gun that made things grow six times their size to shoot at the kelp gardens? But then, the evil man Ray swoops down and swipes the gun away and shoots all the algae. And he gloms onto the undersea dome. And he starts sucking on the glass. Thank mm -hmm. you.